pain in the leg, you say? Where is it exactly? Right here, Doc. I thought it would just pass, but it seems to be getting worse. Not that it hurts that much. All right. Let's see. Does this hurt? No. Nope. This? Nah. How about this? Uh-uh. And this? <laughs> I take it that hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, let's have a closer look. Uh, how's work? What's a hot new product? The microwavable hairdo. Not selling too well just yet, but we just developed this great campaign to get the public over the idea that it's not safe to have your head in a running microwave. I mean, it's just ridiculous. We got studies to prove it. I'm sure they'll come around. Ah, here we go. My wife looks great in this model, the Splendu. It's such a great product. I mean, Helen used to drive 40 minutes each way to get her hair done, which took an hour in itself. Mm. Now, it's just 90 seconds. In the comfort of our home. How can you beat mm. that? I think it might be trouble with one of your planets. Geez, a planet? Got a little dude here somewhere. That's real small, isn't it? A planet? I mean, how could something that small be so painful? Not that it hurts that much. Now, where is that thing? I use the suave bloke. <laughs> and I honestly can't tell the difference from my barber. There it is. Now, of course, you're messing some up top, but we do have a number of models for men of the uh, hair challenge persuasion. We even have a comb over model. Mm -hmm. Oh. What is it, Doc? Uh oh. What? Nothing. I just got the weirdest feeling of being watched. Man, you tripping. Um, I have good news, and I have bad news. I guess, bad first? You have humans. For reasons we have yet to discover, planets can develop this often malignant growth that in some cases slowly spreads across one of your universes and kills it. And... The good news? <laughs> I've got a planet removing doodad here. Somewhere. Well, that didn't really hurt that much. You were scared of me! No, Fat. I didn't scare you. It was... A monster! What? Monster? Where's the monster?
Yo Nami, having a party? Well, hello, Bear Chick Palms Pack. Well, yes, I am having a party. <laughs> Would you like something? Help me! Uh, hey! Wanna see a magic trick? Yeah. And for my next trick... If you were in my shoes, you'd do it too. Well, I guess it all started about a year ago. It was springtime, and I had just started a new job at this downtown multimedia company called Monster Media. Monster Media, may I help you? Uh, at first, it was a great job. The boss was nice, the pay was good, and the work was easy enough. I was the studio gopher, doing all the little things that kept the place going. I had my own desk, and I was basically in charge of myself. It was perfect. But then it all changed. The day Minnie Beast arrived. She was the boss's best friend. A portly woman from Pennsylvania, whose presence in the studio presented me with a perplexing puzzle. Why was she here? One thing was clear. She was here to stay. And the rest became clear very quickly. At my first meeting with Mini Beast. You... you wanted to see me? Hello, Warren. I'm Mini Beast, the new studio manager. Have a seat. Uh, okay. I thought it would be a good idea to have a little rap session and sort out our roles and responsibilities, okay? Now, I'll be honest with you, Warren. I don't really know the first thing about this business, so you'll have to be patient with me while I get settled in here, okay? What I do know is about people and organizations. I'm very detail-oriented. Already, something told me I should be worried. Maybe it was the vapid drone of her voice. Or maybe it was a sickening cloud of cheap perfume wafting across the desk. So, I'm going to need to know every little detail about everything you do here, Warren. Now give me a sense of how things work around here, okay? Uh-huh. 
And that way, I can see what we need to do to improve the overall synergy of the studio. That's what I'm here for. Oh, I found myself almost overwhelmed by the horrifying presence of the Mini Beast. Her thick, bristled arms ending in fat, twitching claws. Her relentless smirk. Her cold, lifeless eyes. So, we'll be meeting here regularly from now on. First thing every morning, okay? And we can plan out your day together. That's great. That's when it dawned on me. This woman wasn't just a mini beast. She was my new mini boss. My mini boss. The Mini Beast! until 2001. I've been telling people this over and over again, but no one seems to listen. Look! Are you ready for the real? 